Hello, for this wealth building video, I'm gonna be speaking about liabilities, AKA debt. And you'd be surprised that there's actually a lot of good reasoning to utilize debt in some instances to build wealth over the long-term time horizon. Um, obviously, there's a wide range of spectrum from uh, really horrible types of debt uh, to good debt. And a form of good debt would be a debt that you're gonna be able to uh, borrow and invest in an asset that's gonna at least maintain its value uh, hopefully, it will end up being uh, able to increase value for yourself either now or in the future, and, and that's usually when a good debt would be associated with that. Most types of good debts are uh, going to be tied to an asset too, so like a mortgage uh, is going to be tied to your home, right? So because of that, you're able to get favorable interest rates, probably in about the 4.5% range for a 30-year mortgage. I uh, don't know the exact rates at this time, but I've seen those being roughly in the spectrum of uh, what you'd be able to, to receive right now. Uh, so a very affordable interest rate, right? Uh, compare that to uh, a personal loan. Personal loans, uh, not as great of an interest rate. Usually you'll be looking at 8 to 12% there. Uh, then the, the next way line down the line in forms of debt would be credit cards and consumer uh, loan debts that uh, could range from the teens to the 20% uh, and, and upper 20% even. So once you start getting into those consumer-based uh, borrowing, then that's when you're starting to inch into that bad debt, right? So you're purchasing things that are losing value pretty quickly. Uh, you probably are losing interest in some of those things pretty quickly too. They might seem like a great idea when you buy them or go on that really expensive vacation, but once you start receiving the credit card statements and you see how much you're paying in interest, uh, you start to <laughs> think that maybe that wasn't uh, as great of a choice. So that's when bad, bad debt starts to come into play. You're paying really high interest for things that are losing value and not really uh, creating value for you over the long term of your life. Um, last thing I just want to hit at is sometimes people find themselves in a, a very uh, strange position because they haven't taken the steps necessary to build an emergency save and start to build up other assets to be able to lean on in times of emergencies. And what happens then is there's things called payday loans. You could pay upwards of 100% uh, and sometimes even higher than that if you find yourself in a tough spot and you have to go and take a payday loan. So that that's way worse than bad debt. That's the most horrible type of debt you could have uh, because it's really obtrusive to being able to build wealth over the long term because you're paying a huge percentage uh, back to something that you just could have planned for ahead of time and actually saved that money for yourself. Same thing with credit card debt uh, and those other consumer debts. So hopefully that's helpful in seeing that there is a spectrum when uh, there could be good debt and bad debt and hopefully you're gonna be able to better navigate your way around that in the future. If you have any questions about trying to uh, organize your debt in a manner that you could pay it off efficiently and start to avoid the, that bad debt, uh, definitely reach out. I'm always available for hourly uh, consultations as well as comprehensive planning. And I really enjoy doing that, being able to help people uh, create a better financial situation so that they can have more confidence moving forward. So uh, look forward to hearing from you and have a great day.